Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about this gorgeous QLED Amazon Fire TV 65 inch with Amazon Alexa built in. It has a Alexa activation button right here or it can activate it using my voice. For example, computer turn off the TV backlight. And I will show you plenty of video samples later. Computer, turn on the TV backlight. Let's keep it dark as computer, turn on the TV backlight, please. Okay, I'm gonna turn on a little bit of light in the background and I will show you how responsive this TV is. So first of all, we got uh, the inputs. There are four HDMI inputs and it supports antenna uh, input to get free over the air uh, signal. Now I'm going to launch uh, YouTube as a, this is gonna be a code launch. I never opened it, this one after the TV has been powered on. It also has Netflix and uh, Prime Video. Let's see the speed of the video loading up. Okay, I'm gonna play a 12K sample, for example. This looks like a pretty interesting video to take a look. Okay, there's a little uh, ad. Okay, let's come here. We can see there are quite a, quite a few quick access buttons for uh, invoking Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, and all the basic uh, adjustments for volume control and channel controls. Okay, let's come back here. I'm trying to do one continuous shot for this video. There will be no editing at all. This is gonna be a 4K um, video on YouTube. Okay, let me move forward a little bit. I wanna find a video sample that has pretty deep uh, dark black. I think I saw that one yesterday. Or can do a search. Yes, this is a great example, I think. Awesome. I'm going to turn off the light. It features extremely high contrast ratio and goes pretty bright as it supports HDR10. I'm, I'm gonna try another one. When it's displaying the black contents, it's crazy uh, efficient. It's not lit at all. There is no backlight coming from the background. This is an incredible video sample. I really want to show this one. I forgot to mention that the audio quality is also excellent. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I'm going to place my microphone here uh, so you can hear the audio quality as well. Okay, the microphone is over there. Maybe a bit too bright, not too loud. Okay, this part, look, this is. Uh, this is like QLED, uh, OLED performance. Although it is QLED, well, I think there could be a, a lot of uh, local dimming zones because this part is completely black when it's not displaying any content. Incredible. Okay, we can also do um, searching here. Uh, let's try. Computer, search up for a 4K LG OLED demos. Getting that from YouTube. That's the response from uh, Amazon Alexa. I changed the wake up word to computer, so I, I don't activate your devices when you're watching this video, right? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is also another excellent video sample on YouTube. Incredibly detailed. I highly recommend this TV. This is by far the best TV I've used. Uh, from the HDMI ports in the back, there's an ARC HDMI support so I can easily hook up a sound bar with it um, using the audio return channel just by using a HDMI cable to the uh, 
soundbar from Bose, for example, and there is also a optical audio input. So I can, um, you know, also use that type of soundbar if your soundbar doesn't support HDMI ARC input. Check out this black. It's incredibly uh, high contrast. It, that's true black, in my opinion. Let me zoom in, okay. It doesn't get better than this. I love this TV. I cannot recommend this thing enough. Highly, highly recommend it. Okay, let's come back to the um, main option. I want to show you guys the ex uh, exit YouTube. Uh, from here, from this menu option, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. You can see better. So the options, uh, we got inputs, notification, account details. Uh, let's come to the live TV. If you have an antenna, connect that one to the uh, coaxial input. Then we can do a channel scan and get over the air signals. Equipment control. Uh, yeah. So there is a accessory, infrared uh, uh, accessory to be connected to the back of the TV uh, and it will be able to use Alexa to control other uh, devices like um, receiver, for example. Applications. Let's walk through these um, options. Silk browser is supported. App store. Uh, under here we got preferences, parental control, privacy settings. Most importantly, I guess this Alexa setting is more interesting. So I, I set up the wake up word here. So we have a couple of choices like Alexa, Amazon, Echo and computer. So on. So this one is the current option. So I don't wake up uh, your devices at home. Coming back here, Alexa app, things to try. Ask questions. So basically, it's just a quick um, guide of how, how to use Alexa with this device. And favor this device is set to on if I have multiple Amazon uh, Echo devices or smart speakers in, the, in this room. It's going to be prioritized to this one, right? Favor this device over the closest Amazon Alexa devices. The communication, uh, income call ringer. So I, I, I think we can use this TV to answer phone calls too um, over the Wi-Fi uh, communicating with other devices. Uh, view transcript of your message and there's contacts too. So that's the Amazon Alexa feature. Uh, if you need help, there's always a help section here to guide us through these um, options. Okay, that's there. Uh, device and software, that's where we get uh, over the air firmware updates for the TV. Already have done the upgrade after the first installation. Um, yeah, so Amazon is constantly upgrading these um, software, uh, the operating system behind the Fire TV uh, hardware. So it's a good idea to constantly come back and check if there is something here. Um, a firmware update, you will see a little yellow dot here to um, remind me to do, to do the software update. And network is where we change the password and username for the network we're connected to. Okay, and equipment control notifications where I can see basically a overview of my Amazon order statuses um, or return status. It also shows up under uh, the notifications. Awesome TV. Oh, I forgot to mention that it supports apps, uh, so we can um, install other apps like a Plex or uh, YouTube Apple TV. It also supports Apple TV. If you have Apple TV subscription, uh, we can easily hook that one up and uh, watch Apple TV contents without using the uh, Apple TV hardware itself. It, it is basically an all-in-one device from the Apple TV, uh, from the Amazon TV, sorry. Again, I think the screen itself is, is just phenomenal. Um, 
Not to mention it's super responsive with all these uh, Fire, T Fire TV operating systems already integrated. It is a fantastic uh, TV. All right. Okay, let's come back to see this one a little bit. Another YouTube video uh, uh, where I'm gonna change the uh, color options. Oops. So there, if I press the setting option on my remote, I will be able to get uh, the picture settings, picture profile settings here. So the current profile setting, hold on. Sorry, I just pressed the wrong button. Okay, coming back to YouTube. Oh, perhaps that one crashed, no? Okay, let me try this one again. I press the setting button, button on my um, remote. Then I can pick the picture option where I can change the movie, uh, the picture mode. Now it is set to movie dark. I can change the bright, uh, the backlight, which is set to 100%. Adaptive brightness is, is currently turned off. I can turn it on to um, let it go dimmer if I have a dark room and it will automatically increase its brightness when it's um, you know, uh, in a brighter room. Local dimming is set to medium. These are default settings. There's a brightness setting. Uh, the brightness can be turned up, I guess. Yeah, contrast brightness, ga gamma, and dynamic contrast. Uh, color setting, clarity setting. Usually I would just keep these as default. Uh, I guess the most uh, impact will be the first one, the picture mode. We can do standard. Let's see if that makes a difference. I don't really uh, notice a dramatic change though. That, that's movie bright, movie dark. I really don't see much of a difference. Standard or vivid. Looks like this one increased the saturation a little bit. Sport, natural, yeah, energy saving. Yeah, okay, the power consumption of this TV is around $33 a year. Uh, maybe when we watch the TV for uh, three, four hours a day, I guess that's the average uh, uh, power consumption around this price, uh, around this uh, kind of uh, size range, right? Um, anyway, I have the energy saving on. Uh, next time, I'll probably hook up a power meter, power meter, and see the um, power consumption of this device. Look at this. The the black is phenomenal. The black, the deep black, high contrast is the best part of this TV. All right, thank you very much for watching. Awesome TV.